What's up? Good morning. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Hope you're being safe. It's another lovely day here in Guyana. It's Saturday morning. And you know Christmas is right around the corner. This morning, look behind me. I've done some modifications to my garden. Miss Lynch harvested her um, ginger and her dye and the basil, our married man, yesterday. So I decided I'm going to redo the garden because we have to clean the house for Christmas. You know, usual thing in Guyana here, for Diwali or for Christmas, either or, we Guyanese, we clean up the house, you know, and clean up the yard, we pressure wash and nice up the place and we dress up for Christmas. So this is the beginning stage. Today is Saturday, we cleaning up, I'm fixing up the garden, I'm making the garden smaller, manageable. Jamal and my boy Bisham, them boys at the back, pressure washing and you know cleaning up the yard. So today I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. What you know, if I'm gonna run down to Mon Repose or I'm waiting for my good friend, my boy Vic Hendricks and uh, my partner Adesh. And yes, looks like today I'll be making a deal with a Toyota Tacoma. So join me and let's find something to do today. At the back here we have Megan. How are you? We're doing some general cleaning up and you know packing up. We boiling some um, provision here, buying some cassava and sweet potato. And these are the colors of the mustard that I picked from the um, garden. So we're in cleanup mode. If you, if you notice all the plants are, are gone, actually, you know, we have the fine time here now. So we're gonna replant some broad time and other things. Look, then buy some somewhere the back there, sharp man and um, Jamal. So everybody clean up for Christmas, you know. I don't have them on. Everybody's doing the thing there right now. <laughs> so, you know, we gotta pressure wash the yard and do some stuff. I did my share, you know, I already do my part of work. So everybody's gonna continue the rest now, right? So in the meantime, they're doing the, the rest of the yard and the front of the house I may run down to the market to grab some catfish or something to cook some curry to go with that island Friday the provision or I might as well come right here and fishing because we have some lovely hasta here about 25 of them so in case my is not looking we could be cooking hasta curry today okay some of you guys are asking me how I managed to send the gilbaco to the US well, it didn't leave Guyana as yet. Now, my good friend Ivla will be taking it to the US. And he's traveling in this suitcase. He's taking a suitcase. So I'm loading up my nice gale back here. And I gotta drop it out to my boy Ivla. And he's gonna take it back for Ricky and Robin and Ramesh and all them boys. So. Look my good friend here man, the man Zhang Wee, the man who just lent me his forerunner and the lovely wife over there, uh, Jin Fung. <laughs> this man just lent me his pick up for go fishing. So now the man buy one Prado, right? <laughs> you lend me the Prado go fishing? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, when you're ready. When you're ready, this, all right. Yeah. See you, you see you soon. catch fish tomorrow? Oh. Yeah. But me, 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 buy, me buy one pick up man. You want a pick up or you? No, me, 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 me body lend me one pick up man. He oh. sell me one pick up. <laughs> That's my good friend there. <laughs> Han Jin Fung. Yeah. That's man, handsome man, you know. So I go. Diao Liang. Bye bye. Zai Jen. Zai Jen. Yeah. You go, right? Yeah, man. See you. Yeah. And here I have. Hello. Miss Nan Devi Pasad. What's up? Nothing much. Nan the coffee shop. Yeah, I'll check out this girl from Camp Street next door to GRE, right? Two doors from GRE at the bottom of Guyana Labor Union. And here. Here's my good friend Nan Devi. Merry Christmas to you, darling. Thank you very much. So you get your favorite gift, right? Yeah, nice. Good. And look, my boy bring oh. a fireside for me. See, you know? that means it's fireside cooking oh, today, you know? cook? Yeah, darling. Tomorrow you're gonna get fish. Oh. This man here, bring a fireside for me. This so far, we're gonna go cooking. We're gonna see what I'm back down and so cook, right? I'll link up this thing. Thanks to the fireside, right? Yeah, man. And let me show you all the truck now. This man, this man here, sell me, sell me one truck, right? So in case. In case we get trouble with that truck, <laughs> we're gonna be searching for him. So we finally get the truck now to go off road to go fish. So let me show you the truck, right? Alright, so we made a deal here 
we get a nice Toyota Tacoma 4x4 you know it's a nice vehicle man to go off road we essentially like the vehicle we had one like this already yeah we had one like but this we already. wanted the four door not the yeah but always the only issue is not a four door see that is the extended cab but hey hey it can work my key and the rest are not gonna fit at the back there all right and maybe it's gonna fit at the front but when we go fishing and we got a nice big trail put the fishing rod right? and we cool on them thing you know man how can life get better than this can't get better than this yes i know so you like it my French? i like it this is the man himself here man mitchell up, man? yeah brother up, robin? Yeah, all right what's up <laughs> so robin your girl baha coming here by safely yes. tonight you're gonna get it yeah put any masala in the meantime <laughs> Mitch Al. Ready and set to go, and this is partner here. Go ahead, my friend. Good buddy. Yeah, all right, brother Basil. All right. Yeah. So you all set, man. All right. New York, here we come. <laughs> all right. So my boy met check in there, and there he goes. He passing by there. So I'm making my way into South Bromfeld. I think it's the gardens. I, I I'm not too much familiar with this area. But I'm heading east. You know, I've been coming here one, one, one time. Whenever Alwyn Field is in the country, we will come here and visit my boy. I'll give you all a little tour of a, of a community here. The community of Rumvelt. Street we just passed. And right after this huge hotel here is the carnival. My boy Alvin feels partner there, man. The guy used to be a boat captain back in the days. The back there. This Rumfeld area is a huge area, you know. It's a South Rumfeld Garden. So it's South Rumfeld, not East Rumfeld. And this, this is an entrance here into a scheme. The Hoos and Drew Supermarket. Wow, there's a huge hole there. This seems to be another entrance to the scheme there. A lot of supermarkets at the back here, man. Lucky Central. Steel Master. So this road probably go down for another mile, I'm not too certain. But at least I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of what South Trumpfeld Gardens look like. I make a stop here by missing. Hopefully a falling pass on the island, right? It's a fried fish, you know, typical Saturday food, you know. Because you know, at my house, we clean them cleaning up. I leave them cleaning up. I don't know if when I go back there, if the, the fish curry will finish cooking. But hey, I gonna last some lunch down here before I head back. Now look what we got there. Nice style and rice and fried fish. See here? Who remember this here? So I pick the pepper here, right? This a long time style, right? Get a little food there. Pepper. Mmm. How can the pepper get sweeter than this? 
from the tree into the plate. Mm. I guess sweet pepper that you think it's not more. No, I'll do for next one. More pepper. Pepper hot, right? But it make the food taste sweeter. Pepper number two. Hmm. <coughs> The pepper ring me ring me ears, you know when you eat pepper ears a ring. But you make the fish, the fried fish and it all tastes more nice. So I finish eating my dal and rice and fried fish and now I head home. I pick up Megan, Mikey, Delina, Miss Lynch, and of course we're taking a little gift from my boy Golu. See this Golu Christmas package? So we are going to take a ride in our new truck. We're actually enjoying the ride. The truck is, you know, is driving fantastic. However, look at the kids at the back. How crouched they are. A four-door truck is a hundred thousand US dollars brand new. One like this, used or brand new, this one cost me like 18,000 US dollars. A 2012 model. Toyota Tacoma now a brand new truck like this would run me let's say you can pay about $30,000 for it in the States if you bring that truck to Guyana $5,000 to ship it it's $35,000 the duty on, on this kind of truck is basically like $2,000 American dollars for a extra cab now look at the difference between this truck uh, extra cab and a four-door a four-door truck now you will pay let's say four to thousand dollars or let's say fifty thousand dollars for a 2020 model four-door is fifty thousand american dollars when you bring that truck to Guyana, you would pay at least another fifty thousand dollars duty which would make it a hundred thousand dollars so Guyana, please review this law that restrict people like myself and other Guyanese from owning a four-door pickup truck I'm an outdoor guy I, I love to take my family along with me I cannot take my van into the Mahika back dam or the, or the Tiger Ranch back dam I need a truck and I cannot afford a four-door truck right now with that said let's continue the fun I'm gonna visit my bike Golo drop off your gift and then maybe we can go on the beach and then the afternoon we got, we got limousine in um, in Guyana. Look at that. Wedding. Somebody getting married. And you can come over here, man. This guy, Regal Banquet Hall. You know, you can come and do your wedding down here. Nice, nice. Look at this. So we got, we finally, you know, uh, got a, I know we got a white one too, but this is another big one. Nice one. And if you want to get married, you can come over here and do your wedding. Here. That's the mighty Demirara River right there. Look at the beauty of the sunset there. We're heading back to George Song in a moment. To capture that beautiful sunset. So you see my boy Gulu living on a farm here man. As I pass by, I check out my boy and you know, I drop the Christmas gift free. Bye, Gulu, Bye. how are you my boy? Everything good? Still single? Yes. <laughs> this man farty and single buddy. Hey ladies. <laughs> What your number man? Let me tell you your number. <laughs> I can give you all this man's phone number, you know. I, this man, this man's single. Yeah, I'll see what you can do. Christmas is coming. You got married below in the pond. Anyway, this is my best friend here, you know, man. I mean, this is my schoolmate. His birthday is one day before mine. He's one day older than me. Last video, yeah, I'll see you by a lot of liquor, right? But this is what I do at Christmas. I drive around to all my friends them, and I drop off a bottle or two. This gifting is only while stock lasts. Once the stack finish, I think done. done there, right? <laughs> so, Golo, that's why, that's Merry Christmas, my buddy. That's why me collect me early. <laughs> this man get heating early, early you know, yes. because, hey, 
the man in blue. You want to start out. <laughs> Alright, let the fun continue. Well, you all know why a man love to follow the sunset. Look at the beauty of the sunset there. I'm on the beach. The Kingston Sea Wall here. Look how close you can get to a cargo ship that bringing in containers and you know transporting goods from the US and different parts of the world to Guyana. How are you doing? Yeah. So just run into two young ladies who know the channel man. So I'm on the beach and you guys know I love the beach. I love to follow the sunset, I love to enjoy the freshness out here. And look at that beauty just down there. Look at that sunset. I mean it's about 5.15 now, but hey, I just love coming out to the beach here, enjoying the um, cool atmosphere. You see them folks in the water there, you know, I see some fellas on a jetty on their fishing boat, I gotta, I gotta go across here. I'm gonna check one of them bicycles, whoa, I got a lot of fellas on the jetty, a lot of folks on the jetty there. So I gotta head across there to go see what they catch it. You know I love the fishing, I love to see the fellas and fishing. So let me go across and check them eyes out. That's the mighty Republic Bank there. And look at our beautiful I love you Guyana. And there's the mighty high street. Now I'm at the mouth of the mighty Demiraya River and the Atlantic Ocean and then fellas now coming away from the jetty they run into some old fishing part that's it man what do you catch today? <laughs> nice I come in now what are you doing? oh my boy yeah let me see oh wow boy you might get some nice 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 stuff a kakwari and them thing nice nice I, one break my line, very big, two, two times. Oh Why shoot! Do do nice, nice. It's so, like a grouper. A grouper? Mm -hmm. Nice. So, I run into two of my subscribers, them and them by is a fisherman like myself. So I head and down on the jetty to see what them fellas um catching there. And you know, look at the sunset, boy. Imagine you're right there. That's the mighty Demerara and the mouth of the Atlantic Ocean <laughs> what more fun than this you want you know I don't have to be on a, sky, a skyscraper to have fun I can have it right here right here imagine having a little boat and your little engine your fishing rod catching dinner hey how can life get better than this now this here is the mouth of the Demerara River. Way out that side is the mighty Atlantic Ocean. Something to understand, all right? A lot of people love the beach, man, in Guyana. The fellas have the finish fishing, but I mean, don't let man catch anything there. Oh, my God. Oh, we all catch up now. Yeah, see that fella guy, I was a catfish, I think. All right, all right, so not near my dinner right now. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, but the atmosphere here is amazing, right? Lovely. So even though you don't care fish, you enjoy the atmosphere. Every day, every day is like I say, you're quite correct. That's how it is, man. The, the tide is kind of high, though. Yeah. The water's kind of high. Hopefully, these boys catch some big fish while I'm here, you know. Like, yeah, 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 I'm catching for the camera. Once I catch some big fish, eh? we got home on Friday, you know. I was in El Dorado. <laughs> How can life get better? You open to get a basha. A basha, like, ready man say you open to get basha here right now. Well, half an hour later, I we ain't catch nothing. So, <laughs> look like we ain't gonna go home without, without a fish today, <laughs> right? Better luck next time. There's no dinner tonight. Can't tell them by say. No El Dorado either. Better luck next time. So hope you guys had fun with me. Hope you enjoyed the day with me. Stay safe, stay blessed. God bless you. Peace out. See you on the next adventure. <laughs>